flows under the city streets in Belgium, a new beer appliance is looking to come to market, plus an update on cannabis in the beer industry. I'm your host, Chris Hardy, and this is the Straight Beer News for the week of September 25th, 2016. So a new pipeline debuted this week in Bruges, Belgium. Uh, the brewery De Havman, I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that right, I'm butchering Flemish maybe there. Uh, what it means in English would be the half moon, De Havman. Uh, well, their brewery is located right in the city center of this old style medieval type of a uh, city in Belgium. And the streets are made of cobblestone and they're very narrow. And they've been brewing there for a couple hundred years. They've been brewing in general for 500 years. They've been having to, in recent times, bring trucks into the, the brewery through these navigating these narrow passageways of the city to load up their beer to take it to a, a bottling facility two miles away. Recently, in the last few years, they had a, a brilliant idea that instead of um, forcing trucks to, to navigate through to the brewery, just to take beer a couple miles away to be bottled, they underwent the uh, analysis to build a pipeline under the city streets. So uh, it debuted this week. The, the work had been ongoing for a couple of years and it has started and they are uh, bottling now at their bottling facility. The pipeline handles about a thousand gallons of beer per hour. Now there was a Kickstarter or some sort of crowdfunding campaign for this initially. Uh, the cost of the pipeline was four million euros or roughly four and a half million US dollars. Of that they crowdsourced 300,000 euros and as gifts to their funders they offered free beer for a lifetime. Now the beer is in proportion to the amount that's provided by the funder. So there were multiple levels uh, of funding that you could uh, achieve. The highest level being called a gold membership and to receive that level you would have had to fund 7,500 euros and in return for your lifetime that would be the equivalent of an 11 ounce bottle of beer a day uh, for your whole life. That was the gold membership. There was also a bronze membership that would have been a donation of 220 euros and that would have come with a promise of one 25 ounce bottle of beer per year. Now I haven't seen anything about a silver membership. I'm sure there's one that exists but I'm not exactly sure what the gift was for that level or what the dollar amount was. Uh, I haven't been able to find that. If you know or have any information on that I'd be curious to, to learn more about that. Next up is an interesting new beer appliance that is looking to come to market. Um, it's produced by a group called Physics Group and Physics is spelled with the F-I-Z-Z -Z, as in fizz and what this appliance is essentially is a portable a wireless uh, tap. The top of it comes off and you can place a can or a bottle of beer inside of this little appliance. Now the top has a tube that comes out of it and you would place the tube into the opening of your beer bottle or can. So you would open your bottle or your can first, place it into the appliance, then place the tube on, into the hole of the bottle or can as you put the lid on. Once it's on, you can pour uh, a tap handle from the top of the machine on the top of the appliance to pour your beer like it's a tap into your glass. Now the neat part of this is the second part which is the foam creation. So in addition to just working as a tap, it has it uses a, a sonic wave technology so that when you use the tap in the other direction, so instead of tap, instead of pouring by pressing the tap towards you, you press the tap away from you to create this uh, foam so that, and you press it backwards, what comes out now, what is dispensed is mostly foam, but the bubbles are very thick and creamy and it just creates a nice head on your glass. There are two generations of these uh, tap machines. 
the first generation, it worked with uh, growlers and larger bottles. And those, as far as I can understand, these are already in the market. Uh, this new appliance is what's being called the Physics Wave Tap. They are currently in a funding campaign to get this project launched. And interestingly enough, just a couple of nights ago on the season premiere of Shark Tank, the owners of the company were approaching the sharks and looking for some funding. So they went in asking the sharks for $500,000, uh, which in their mind was uh, equivalent to 4% equity or 4% ownership. That would have equated to uh, an equity value of, or company value of about of twelve point five million dollars. Uh, multiple sharks balked at that uh, that level of valuation and came in at a different price. So they received multiple offers of five hundred thousand, which was what they were looking for. But instead of a four percent equity, they wanted eight percent, which basically halved what they estimated that the company value would be. So in the end, they negotiated a, a different price and they worked with two sharks uh, in particular who came together to create this deal. So Mark Cuban with Lori Greiner, the QVC queen, uh, they went in together to fund the whole A-series funding that they were looking for. So they were initially looking for $2 million out of this whole funding, Mark Cuban and Lori Greiner decided that they would fund the whole two million, but at an equity stake of one sixth or 16.67%. And so that is the deal that was made. So now this this physics weight tap is backed by Mark Cuban and Lori Greiner. So they also do still have a, a Kickstarter campaign out. I would recommend you take a look at it. I'll have the details and a link to the to their page uh, down below in the description. Next up, let's talk a little bit about marijuana. So there's a brewery in Aurora, Colorado called Dad and Dudes Breweria, and they have received the first federal approval to brew a beer with marijuana. Uh, it's uh, non-psychoactive cannabis, so it does not contain the uh, THC portion of the plant. Um, but it will retain that uh, marijuana, danky kind of flavor taste to it. And they are very excited about it. They need some further funding to, uh, to produce it on a scale that they would like. The beer is an IPA, and it's going to be called George Washington's Secret Stash. And the name pays homage to our first president, who is a known hemp grower. But the timing comes at an interesting time where news came out this week as well that there are multiple breweries um, in the beer industry that are actively working with super PACs to, um, to push against laws that might legalize marijuana. Some of these breweries included, for example, Samuel Adams has uh, provided funding to these super PACs. So their thought is that instead of reaching for a, a cold craft beer, um, to receive their their jubilance, their joy, their euphoric high, they would just reach for a joint instead if it's legal. I personally think that they are complementary. They probably go hand in hand. Either that or the markets are different. I am not necessarily convinced that someone who smokes marijuana also drinks craft beer or vice versa, that a craft beer drinker is someone who would also partake in marijuana-based products. Let me know what your thoughts are on that. I'd be interested to see what you think, um, whether those markets are the same or unique in any way. So that'll do it for this week. Thanks again for watching. I'm your host, Chris Hardy. And remember, if you like what I'm doing, please subscribe or let me know by giving me a thumbs up. I'd greatly appreciate that. Or leave a comment in the comment section. I'd love hearing from you. You can also reach me on Twitter at Straight Beer. If you're like me and you get tired of the same news rehashed day in and day out. I'm looking at you. Brangelina breakup. For the news that really matters at the end of your week. I'm talking about straight beer news. That is it. Beer news, the news that matters to you is what matters to me. I look forward to seeing you next week. Take care.